Let's take a look at the tail of the tape for our first fight of the night here at Bellator 221. You can see 4-0 for Tywan Claxton, only one defeat for James Bennett, but James Bennett has got to deal with the length. They are both the same height, but that's a big reach advantage for Tywan Claxton. Here's the international voice of Bellator MMA, Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to Bellator MMA Live on DAZN. Tonight from Allstate Arena here in Rosemont, Illinois, we begin with three five-minute rounds in the featherweight division. Introducing first the blue corner at 5 foot 8 weighing in 145.8 pounds his professional record four wins just one loss fighting out of gages lake illinois presenting james berserker Bennett. and across the cage his adversary out of the red corner at 5 foot 8 weighing in 145.8 pounds as a professional he's undefeated for Victories, no defeats, fighting out of Cleveland, Ohio, introducing Taiwan and Claxton. And with the bell rings, the referee in charge of the action, Kevin McDonald. Kevin McDonald is the referee scheduled for three five-minute rounds of the Bellator fight. MMA featherweight division. The bell round one, the two touch gloves. Taiwan Claxton in the red gloves. James Bennett in the blue gloves. And Bennett known as Berserker. Joined the Marines when he was 18, but we knew he was tough before that. In a pancreation tournament, John, he broke his arm ended up completing the tournament, won a medal, decided to continue in a different division the next day, won a medal with a broken arm, and the team that beat him, they, they were known as the Berserkers, and they say this guy personifies a Berserker. He does, you know, you look at, you, when you've got that kind of metal toughness, you can go a long ways, and, and James Bennett has that. What he's got to deal with here is the speed well, and the strength of Taiwan Claxton and be smart in his movements. Not immediately, Claxton takes down Bennett. Beautiful trip take down by Taiwan. He needs to be very careful when he's on top here, always controlling where James Bennett's at. Claxton with the wizard looking to create some separation, but now it's Bennett looking to try to take down Claxton. A scramble. Sprawl by Claxton, looks to take the back of Bennett. Some right hands underneath the arm of Bennett. And now looking for that front. Man, it's all Claxton on Bennett. Almost into a cradle position there, Moro. When you're looking at what you know, you're seeing out of James Bennett, he made a very good move in the beginning off that scramble and then made a mistake that got to the point where that's why Taiwan got to his back. Claxton told us that Bennett's right hand is crisp, technical, and comes with some heat on it, so he would like to take it down as soon as possible. Now it's Bennett fishing for a front face lock, looking for a short choke. He's looking for a go-go choke. This kid loves the go-go choke. As does Ben Rothwell. Pulled out the first one and the first time, and I know he's going to hate me for saying this, Josh Barnett will submit it. He did. He submitted Josh Barnett. The only submission loss by Josh Barnett was with that go-go choke, but you're going to have to be in a certain position to make that choke work, and right now that is not something that James Bennett should be searching for. We continue to have the beat here in the featherweight division, and it's Claxton putting a beating on Bennett grinding him down. And look at the posture, Morrow. You're, you're yes. seeing that. He's controlling yes. that position. Oh, wow. Oh, he's he's feeding Bennett. Shot. Solid left hands. No defense as that arm remains neutralized by Claxton. And now finally able to use that arm. But the ground and pound of Claxton continues. Those are some heavy, heavy shots. Claxton is strong. And when he uses the fence as another, another leverage point, he's able to control the position. Posture and land, big shot. Claxton began wrestling in the eighth grade and high able to take down the Division II All-American, putting it on James Bennett here in the first round. Every shot gets through. Every shot. Two of Claxton's four victories have come in the first round. All four of Bennett's victories have taken place in the first frame. Two minutes left. This is what makes fighting Taiwan Claxton so difficult. You're, you're working hard. You're getting yourself back to your feet and immediately he takes your legs right back out, puts you back on the ground, back to the position. So you just went and used a lot of energy to get yourself up. 
and it didn't work for you. Oh. Starting to see a little blood more. is being produced from the forehead of Bennett as Plaxton postures up, rains down another right hand. Bennett at the mercy of Taiwan Claxton here in the opening round. 90 seconds left Again. from the guard. Ground and pound. Look at the posture, Maura. This is the whole point of fighting. If you can create a posture, have some distance oh, to be able to yeah. land with power and not have your opponent get away from you, you're a dangerous individual. Bennett created momentary separation, but Claxton was immediately back in the guard, and he is comfortable in the guard. There's a... Open guard now and still all Claxton. See, a man left in the first round. Open guard as far as he's got him up top, but that's Claxton deciding where he wants to be. Claxton is controlling everything that we're seeing in these scrambles in this fight right now. He is doing whatever he wants. Claxton transferred to Ohio University, was a two-time national qualifier. And his bread and butter reaping dividends here in his fifth professional fight. The wrestling, the pressure, the ground and pound offense. It's Claxton who's been going berserk here in the first five minutes. He has absolutely, in my opinion, the, the way he's fighting is creating a pressure and an offense that is just hard to defend against. You're seeing James Bennett doing a lot of good things and trying to stop what he's doing. It's just not working. Solid start for Taiwan Claxton in this featherweight opener of Bellator 221. Shot! Any break, guys. Sorry. Look at the takedown here. Look at the inside trip. Brings the leg, sweeps it out, right into a half guard position. And the ground and pound, he's controlling that outside arm. He's got it trapped. And you see him just hammering away, and it's the position. The body positioning of Claxton, look at the posture, watch the elbow. That's the one that cut James Bennett. He's been landing big, heavy shots. That was a dominant and damaging round for James Bennett. Do I go there when it comes to your unofficial scorecard, John, in regards to the 10-8 uh, the scores? Absolutely, That, in my opinion, you're looking at a fight Right there, he was dominated that round, and he was damaged with big, heavy shots. And that he's is, smiling. That is a 10-8 round. Round two. The second round begins. Tyron Claxton, red gloves. James Bennett in the blue gloves. And Bennett wanted to also give a shout out to Sergeant Major Mark Galetko as he blocks that head kick attempt by Claxton. One of the things you're seeing out of Claxton that he did not use to do, he's starting to throw feints, he's starting to show, you know what, I'm gonna give you a couple of little movements, let's see how you react, and then he's going after him. Galetko gave Bennett a place to continue his training as a fighter when Bennett was training in the United States Marine Corps. And Claxton, there's a jumping knee, down goes Bennett! It was almost deja vu all over again, but Bennett has survived for the moment, John. What explosive offense from Claxton. I think that move just caught James Bennett a little bit off balance. He got put back on his butt, not because he was hurt by it, but he was getting thrown back due to the pressure. Hammer fist. Some definite damage wow. to the right orbital. You're looking at James Bennett. He's got some swelling going on. He needs to stop this attack, and he needs to stop the posturing that Taiwan Claxton is freely moving to and opening up with heavy shots. I hope the snacks are better on Air Claxton than they are on most <laughs> airlines, although I don't think Bennett enjoyed the taste. No, I'll tell you what, those are, though, all of those, they just have a horrible taste to them when they're landing. A minute and a half gone here in the second round, and it continues to be one-way traffic. Taiwan Claxton putting it on James Bennett, who ate a nasty knee and now is being smothered. And you see James trying to bring his legs up. That's all he's trying to control, that posture of Taiwan. He just cannot get what he Another needs elbow. as far as controlling the upper body. Taiwan is just too physically strong right now. And Claxton landing everything. But Bennett doing his best to control Claxton's posture, which then controls the force of these shots. Couple of hammer fists, but it's a mugging, John. Well, he, he's absolutely running through him right now. You know? And then again, this is what athleticism, along with good technique, does. 
And Taiwan Classic, this is a guy that's part of the future, man. He is learning as a heavy, heavy elbow strike. Do you think Claxton's auditioning for that featherweight grand oh, total coming up it. later this hey, year? what up, 50? What up, Claxton 50? has time to say, what up, 50? Of course, 50 hey, Cent is signing that check for a million dollars for the welterweight world grand prix and i think bennett and both of them should be worried about what's happening inside the cage than what's happening outside of it you know when you're doing good inside the cage and you're feeling comfortable and that's what taiwan claxon is doing you can take those moments and look out a la a you know, nirmaga medoff you think about all the times he's talking to people outside the cage that's exactly what you're seeing out of Taiwan Claxton. A form of trolling, and if anyone knows anything about trolling, is our good buddy 50 Cent. <laughs> Under two minutes left here in the second stanza. James Bennett showing a lot of grit, a lot of toughness. He is a tenacious, tough fighter. He's got no quit in him. Nope. But he's got to find an answer for breaking the posture or getting away from Taiwan Claxton. And there is Freddie looking on. Just have to hear the power is coming to end, but what a great show. He's always up to something, and now it's Bennett controlling the posture, wanting to try to find some way to reverse his fortunes. Claxton is having none of it. You see Taiwan grabbing the wrist, moving the arm where he wants. Everything that he's doing, trapping the arm with his knee, everything he's doing, when, it, when he decides to do something, he is just doing it, and that means bad, bad things for your opponent. Lots of power and just continued sustained offense by Taiwan Claxton on James Bennett. And Bennett again in the final minute trying to control that posture. I know it's a recording, John, but what? how does he try to, to turn the tables on a guy like Claxton? Well, what he's doing right now with the open guard is good because he needs to swing himself inside, get his knee to the ground, Utilize the fence as a posting so he can get back to his feet or look for that reversal. But right now, with the balance and the fence being there for Taiwan Claxton, he's not going to reverse him. So look to get up and out. Put the hand to the ground. Get the foot down to the ground. Slide your knee inside and start getting yourself up. We know that Claxton is highly intelligent, but he's his own trainer. Is that smart at this level of MMA? I'll get your answer. And in the next round, as Claxton continues to dominate James Bennett. So, John, we talk about the fact that Claxton is his own trainer for the most part, still very young in the game. At 26, his fifth professional fight. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Uh, you know, look at uh, I'm watching a guy. Just having right our way, homie. He is hey, doing but let's everything not get sloppy, right. right? Let's now be he's careful. Taking some Same thing when we go back out there again. So Set everything up. Against his now opponent, we're gonna see but that desperation, right? You know, we're going to see the, uh, this that whole he sequence with the flying knee. Look what he does. Right away. He takes the <laughs> chance. It does land a little bit, but it's actually <laughs> the, the foot tripping is what causes James oh, to go down. down there yes, we stay on our but he ate that knee, I think. He did. But you're right. It was the trip that brought him crazy. For consistency's sake, John. What is your score on your unofficial scorecard after what we've just seen? Right now, I've got Taiwan Claxton up two rounds of done, but it's also 20 we to 16. Woo. I have two 10-8 rounds. And James Bennett says, I'm going out of my shield. Bring it on. Look at this guy. He's wearing it on his face, but has that Bushido spirit. Third fun. And the third and final round. Taiwan Claxton setting up, said he wanted to show more of his striking. It's been dominant wrestling and ground and pound. Absolutely. You, know, you brought up a point. You know, Taiwan has been his own coach for the last. Nice left upper on the inside. He has been his own coach, and is that a smart move? And for most fighters, I will tell you, no, it's not a smart move. But he has enough self-discipline. He is always in shape, and he's bringing guys in to teach him how to be a more complete mixed martial arts and trading them that wrestling knowledge that he has. And there, Bennett coming forward. It was Claxton off balance. Claxton changing levels, trying to go for the uh, takedown as we're looking for the go-go choke out of Bennett and Bennett. Now in side control is Claxton. <laughs> there is no quit in James Bennett. The crowd cheering on the underdog. Taiwan Claxton is not in trouble at all right now. 
He's just relaxing, taking his time. He knows that there's no left there right to mount. Now let's see what he does from this position. Bennett fighting out of Gage's Lake, Illinois. And here we have Claxton. Slashing elbow strike again from top position. Good job by Bennett to get himself at least back to a half guard. Incessant striking here. The next rubble attack from Taiwan. Claxton. Claxton dropping elbows. Bennett blocking low partially, but no return fire. How demoralizing does it have to be knowing there is there's no way back. there's no escape John. Oh it, it, it's, look at it's this a horrible feeling when you have somebody on top of you landing strike after strike and everything you try wow. doesn't work. Referee talking to Bennett. How much more can Bennett sustain less than three minutes left in the fight and that's a lot of time. That's it. That's it. And the referee has seen enough. Taiwan Claxton improves to 5 0 with his fourth win via form of knockout. Impressive stuff from Eric Claxton. Let's talk about that stoppage real quick because there's a lot of people that are going to look and say, well, he was still fighting, and he was. No doubt about it, but that was a very good stoppage by Kevin McDonald for the reason of, look, he had already lost two rounds badly. There's no way he can win on the scorecards. He doesn't have a puncher's chance anymore, and he's proven he can't submit Taiwan Claxton. So what Kevin McDonald did is he saved him from excessive damage so he could go on with his career. Speaking of excessive damage, look at those elbows landing, and when you're talking about those strikes, you can see the damage on James Bennett's face. He is accepting all of those blows and they add up. And this is when you're a referee and you're looking, Kevin McDonald is saying, I'm not gonna let you sit there and just be a big punching bag. You're gonna have to show me you have a chance of winning the fight. And when you don't, we're gonna stop the fight. Let's get the official announcement from Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, it comes to an end officially. Two minutes, nine seconds, round number three. Referee Kevin McDonald steps in, waves off the contest due to unanswered strikes for the winner by TKO, still undefeated Taiwan, A. Claxton. Taiwan Claxton improves to 5 and 0. And he's going to be talking to Big John McCarthy. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here with your winner, Taiwan Claxton. Are you shocked at how much abuse your opponent could take in that fight? I was like, shit, when is he going to give up? But hey, he ate some shots, man. He ate hats off, hats off to him because. I know I hit hard, you know, look at his face. I know I hit hard and uh, he ate a flying knee. You know, he ate the knee and kept fighting after that, man. He was a tough guy. And uh, you can't ask for anything else from a warrior. He's a warrior, man. So my hat off to him and much respect. He took everything that you had and kept coming back, trying to stop what you were doing. You hit him with that flying knee, you tripped him down. It was in the end, you were hitting him with huge elbows. Talk about the power that you were putting on there because you were posturing up, creating a lot of space and bringing a lot of power. Look at his, I mean, if, just look at his face. You know, both of his eyes are almost swollen shut. I don't know how he, how he kept fighting. I really don't. He's a tough guy, man. That's one, that's one tough man right there. And uh, like I said, my hat goes off to him, man. That, that's a tough guy. Well, I'll tell you what, you are one tough man yourself, Taiwan Claxton. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Taiwan Air Claxton. <laughs>